Hello everybody, this is your favorite YouTuber, your favorite camp counselor, your favorite teacher, your favorite all around dude, Mr. Escobar here with another video. Today I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm here at one of my favorite spots. Some of you may or may not know that Mr. Escobar is actually a ranked pinball player. I'm around eight, nine thousand, was it like 9,810 in the world right now? So I'm pretty good, uh, but not as good as, uh, I'm better than you, I'm know that, because I'm ranked, because I go to tournaments. I'm really that great. But anyways, uh, enough of me. Let's go inside to the Pinball Hall of Fame and let's check it out. There's a lot of noise out here. This plane's going around. The casinos are right behind me and I'll, I'd love to go ahead and show you inside. I've been here before a couple years ago. This is a new updated video. I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so to give you an idea where I'm at right now, right there you see the Madeline Bay. That's a very beautiful casino. Um, and over here, just down the street, is the big old marquee of the Pinball Hall of Fame. But that is nothing. If you've never seen this on the internet or anything like that, here's the big old marquee, uh, the building, the warehouse that housed all the wonderful pinball uh, machines. Uh, if you've seen my previous video of golf and stuff, and golf and stuff is where I learned how to play uh, pinball. Uh, when since ever since I was a kid, I played in. in you know middle school high school college everything and over there on the other side it's the airport they have like uh these rich people coming in with their private airplanes to las vegas right next to the pinball hall of fame and there's my car right here and um i'll be uh next shot uh it's gonna be under that marquee and uh i'll show you a little bit closer to it i can't wait i love pinball do you like pinball drop a comment Okay, so as I say goodbye to my car, this is a different view of that marquee over there, but that Madden and Blake Casino, that's very, very nice. I think it costs like about three to four hundred dollars a night to stay there, uh, but I'm not staying there. I'm staying actually with my friend's house, uh, and I will do a future video on that. But check that out. Look at that pinball. It's huge. And then there's the, I told you, the airport. Oh, I can't wait to go in. I'm going to play a lot of pinball, but I got to show you how amazing it looks inside. But look at that. That's huge. To give you an idea, they look at the car for scale, but look at that, boom, pinball. At nighttime, this all illuminates. It's all really, really cool. You can see it from far away. But let's go inside uh, and check it out. The Pinball Hall of Fame. Okay, so here it is. Here's the uh, Pinball Hall of Fame, as you can see. It is very, very uh, huge. Look at the high ceilings over there, uh, but check it out. Um, I'm gonna start here in the left-hand side to give you an idea of the scale of this. As you can see, this whole entire area is nothing but pinball. Uh, and I'm, I told you I'm really, really good, but the reason why I like coming here is because they do have classic pinball machines. Um, this one here is probably from the 60s. As you can see here, they it's a very classic uh, pinball machine. They got some more classic games, and this is the reason why I like coming here. But they also have some, some look at that, look at that Hulk right here. Check it out. This one came out in 1979, so this is a 1979 uh, pinball machine that's pretty awesome so let's go check it out more this one and then it, ha it tells you the history of the actual pinball machine uh, this one as you can see came out in 1979 as well so this is a 1979 uh, pinball machine called countdown and a lot of these games I've never never played before oh my gosh I, I've only I played this here last time this right here is is very extremely rare it's a Star Trek game um, going back from the, probably the early 80s. But let's go back over here um, and show you some more uh, classic games. I used to play this game when I was a kid as well. It's called Wipeout. I really, I'm actually really, really good at Oh my God. I played this on, on the, my PlayStation, uh, was it my PlayStation 4? No, PS, PS3, excuse me. Right? Yeah, PS3. And um, uh, I played this digitally, but I, I'm really, really good at that game. Um, I'll also play this one too. I, I, I have this. I'm really good at this one. This came out in the early 80s as well. So that the the wipeout, the uh, play, space station, which I'm definitely gonna play here, and this one too, the tea time. I'm really really good at this one as well. Uh, so check it out. We're just gonna go over here and and show you some classic games. I like this game too. I, last time I was here, I played this one. This one's coming from. It looks like this one came out. I'm trying to look. Somewhere in the 70s. I'm not quite. I didn't say the year. Uh, maybe this another one over here yeah it, it came out pretty a long time ago so this is another one an orbit machine it came out from 1972 this is you see that so this is so I love the fact that they, they tell you the, the the history 
of, of some of these games over here. But check it out. They got nothing but pure pinball machines. And they got some classic ones over here too. This one's like a horse racing one. See, it's only, I think there's a button here. Yeah, there's a button here. But you press it up here. And then you have uh, horse races going on at the same time. I got to play this one. I never played this one before. Um, but these are the old uh, pinball machines that I, I certainly like enjoying playing. This one, look at that one. This one is 1975. So this is called uh, Etoror. I know I mispronounced that, but nothing but classic, classic pinball machines. All right, so let's check it out over here. More classic pinball machines over here. Oh, I like this one. This was a, 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 a really like this one here. 1966. So this pinball machine is from 1966 to give you an idea. And there's a football one here as well from 1973, the year I was born. So when I was born, in 1973, this is what was going on. Uh, I got a, I played this before actually. This is a 1973 pinball machine, but they also have look more pinball machines over here. Uh, let's see, you go over here. It's a really cool spot. So if you're going to Las Vegas, make sure you tell your parents to take you to uh, the Pinball Hall of, Hall of Fame. This is, I look at this one. I like I like this one. This one's called Bowling Queens, right? And um, it's pretty cool. This one came out in this is right here. 1964 this is a very uh, very very unique game from 1964 uh, but then here you go over here and they have the modern ones right here I'm really good at these like this Batman over here that came out a couple years ago um, I really really good at this one machine I never played the Transformers before uh, there's the Metallica ACDC some band ones and but this one came out last year I, this is the Munsters awesome 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 check it out not crazy so you can see the difference between a classic one and and uh and an old one here as well but look nothing but but pinball machines pinball machine look at this, michael jordan space jam this came out in the early 90s i used to play this quite a bit um probably in like 1992 1993 and this one there's the ghostbusters over here um if you like star wars they got the star wars over here check it out um uh, pretty pretty cool stuff so the modern ones cost a little bit more to play, uh, but I'm gonna I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go through. I'm not even gonna edit this uh, film. I'm gonna just show you to give you an idea. Check this out. This is called the Pinball Circus. Um, yeah, it looks like they have the flippers over here. I've never seen a pinball machine like this before. But uh, what is that? This is a. Uh, there's. It says only two ever built. You see that? So here in the Pinball Hall of Fame, the uh, they have one. I don't know where the other one's at. This is from 1993, but check it out. This is an actual pinball machine uh, in, a, in a video game console. Isn't that weird? It's not cool. Um, so let's see. Yeah, I got to go back and play that one. I've never played that one before. But anyways, nothing but goodness here. Look at this one. I like this one. This, I like these baseball pinball machines. Check it out. You see that? Okay. And then this is my favorite movie of all time, Tron. I play this pinball machine quite a bit let's go over here to check it out and uh see what else can find you see this machine right here this machine is very very important um you can't uh this is what a video game uh system looked like back uh the very first one actually you see right here 1971 this is the first ever uh video game operating it's not operating right now but if you ever wanted to know what was the very first video game coin operated machine is this one right here i played it before very very classic game. Let's okay, let's go towards the left over here. More pinball. I like this one here. Oh, I'm this one. I'm really really good. I played in a couple of tournaments uh, playing this particular one. This is from the 70s. Um, really really good on that one. You go down here, and um, yeah, I'm just going up here. Look, they got a Flintstone one. Um, someone's filming uh, over there. I mean, someone's playing. Excuse me. Look at that. Check it out. That's huge. Okay, and then this one, this one, I'm really good at this one here. This is called a black hole. Um, but this one here, they have a, a, a different, unique kind of system, and you can play it down here as well. Uh, very good at that one. Look at that. I'm very good at this one here, too. The uh, uh, Reds from Mars. I play this many two times, and I'm also very good in Twilight Zone as well. Uh, but they also have classic games. Oh, I'm, I used to play this quite a bit uh, with my buddy of mine. It's pretty, pretty good here. Pretty, pretty good. All right, let's go check over here. We're just going down the aisle. Uh, let's see if I can maneuver myself. There's a, a pinball from the Creature of the Black Lagoon. I'm really good at that one. Star Wars. Uh, they got 
uh, WWF. Uh, let's see. Fast break. I like these basketball ones. You see that one? Check it out. Isn't it cool? Awesome. All right, let's keep going. Street Fighter 2 from the from the 90s. All right, check it out. More classic now. This is they do have tournaments and I uh, uh oh Popeye, check it out. Oh, I wish they would they would have turned that on. It's one of my favorite ones. Then uh yeah, but like I was saying, they do have tournaments. I do show up to these tournaments and and that's how you get rank is you go to the pinball tournaments and uh yeah, look and then uh, eventually you you play against other people. Uh, this one's from 1990. Uh, this is another baseball game. So I was in high school when this came out. That's awesome. Let's see. Let's go. And then this one is one of my favorite here. This one's kind of weird because you get to play against another person. So you'll stand over here, right? And then like you, you're, the, the job is to try to get your, your pinball over here and this thing swings. So then another p person will play right here. And uh, you guys will battle against each other. Very unique. Oh, this one. Oh, my gosh. This one here, I played in tournaments, and with this particular one, it's one of the hardest games to play, in my opinion. I'm not very good at this game. It's really, really small, narrow. Uh, it's, it's a hit or miss on this one. This one, uh, get me away from that one. But I really wanted to show you something else here. They actually have an authentic Disneyland Toy Factory. Now, what is a Disneyland Toy Factory? Well, this was this thing, this machine right here. And this machine over here was actually at Disneyland, all right? And what they do is they, it, um, they used to have these in the LA Zoo as well, but this one here, uh, you, you put $4, I guess they, they want $4, and then you get this one for a Pluto. This is from 1961, by the way, okay? And they'll make the Pluto right here in front of you. And then uh, this, this machine uh, will, will make uh, uh, Donald Duck but uh, different amusement parks used to have these, but these two machines are, uh, they're really extremely rare, especially since this was at Disneyland in 1961, so, uh, and let's see. Oh, this is a bowling one, check it out. And then there's another baseball one right here, uh, which uh, I guess you roll the ball and then uh, you play uh, baseball over there. And then they also have classic video games. When I grew up and during the 80s, it was, uh, this is one of my favorite games called Paperboy. Okay, let's keep going. Machine over here. Just awesome, awesome, soft stuff. So yeah, um, just wanted to show you this uh, here in this wonderful city of Las Vegas. Um, you know, oh my God, they got Dragon Slayer. They got Dragon Slayer, no, no, no. Get me away from that machine. And they got Gauntlet over here. This is another machine. I put, Mr. Escobar put a lot of money when he was a kid playing this particular game here. They got, I'm, I'm glad he had it. Then of course they have the classic um, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which I used to play when I was a kid. Check it out. I used to play Donatello. Um, this one is my favorite. This is a, a stand-up, this is a stand-up uh, uh, pinball uh, machine. You put your quarter in here and you play, I'll play right now in a moment. Oh, this game right here. This game I grew up, I dropped a lot of money on this one. This is Mickey Thompson's Off-Road uh, from back in the day, Spin. So yeah, Asteroid, one of the first video games that I ever played. Oh, I'm, I'm Mr. Escobar is really good at Star, uh, Star Wars. Um, this one's pretty unique as well. I play this multiple times. Not only that you play down here, right? But if you could get a bonus when you start playing up there, you can see the flippers are over here. Check it out. And of course, um, they do have my favorite movie. My favorite movie of all time is Tron, and uh, they do have a Tron machine. It's a classic one. Uh, Mr. Escobar played that many times. Mario Brothers, not Super Mario Brothers. This is like one of the first Mario Brothers game where uh, Mario and Luigi start battling in here if you never play that. Joust is a very classic game. Uh, but yeah, there it is. The Pinball Hall of Fame. You know, I got to get off away from this music here. But anyway, I'm going to go down here. Did you like it? Is it awesome? I mean, I'm telling you, this is a lot of a fun place uh, to go to. Look, another Daytona. Uh, no, this, I thought it was Mickey Thompson. Daytona. But uh, I, I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play all these classic uh, pinball machines over here. Uh, and uh, and then I'll eventually I'm, I'm going to go down here and spend a couple hours here. It's one of my favorite things I like to do. And um, I hope that, if again, if you ever come with your family, 
uh, definitely come here and uh, you, you'll see that it's just an amazing look, Galica. All right, so let me go and uh, properly end this uh, video, but um, just want to show you a little bit more from the 80s. Um, oh, look at that one. Check it out. This one came out in 1972. So this is older than me. Not cool? And then if you want to see the inside of a pinball machine, they, they, they do very good at job and maintenance uh, uh, do maintenance on this uh, particular machine, but this is like you see how uh, the, the 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 internal uh, System inside the pinball machine. It, it has a lot of wires uh, Just to operate something like this a lot of electricity a lot a lot of cool stuff All right. Oh that Star Trek game. I gotta get away from that game. I dropped too much money last time I was here for that game, but uh, yeah Did you like it? Did you enjoy it? Uh, drop a comment. Let me know if you if you liked it um, again, let me go ahead and uh, uh, properly end this video. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy that you're here with me. Look at that, 1969, a Zotar machine. Awesome. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, everybody, I hope you enjoy my visit to the Pinball Hall of Fame. It's a very unique place. It's a place that I truly love. Miss Mr. Escobar has a lot of hobbies in pinball. Uh, machine is one of them. I learned all my skills at uh, golf and stuff in Norwalk, California, not Downey. And um, yeah, I want to dedicate this film to all my students at uh, that wonderful school I work for, Alliance number 12, and also to all my friends and family. Um, I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. Don't forget to smile every day. When you smile, it, it, it brings something out of you uh, in which you want to do good. You know, you guys are and girls are amazing, okay? And don't forget that me, Mr. Escobar, is the greatest man that ever lived. Okay, watch my next video. I'm going to make a lot of videos. Okay, bye. Hey, kids, play with Peppy, the musical clown. So I guess this is Peppy, huh? All right, let's see. So you put your quarter in there. That's your foot. Hand, foot, foot, hands, hands. <laughs> oh, Peppy, I love you. Mini baseball, 25 cents.